So welcome back to another video on Kids Coding Playground. Today we'll be making a game called T-Rex and Pterodactyls. So we have another game similar to this, which is this cat getting the apples. But this one is a T-Rex getting the pterodactyls. This is how the game looks like. So I'll be explaining how to play the game. So use the arrow keys to move, and the objective is to just score as much points as you can. Press the space bar to jump with the uh, T-Rex to eat the pterodactyls to get points. This video is like the apple and cat one, cat video, except this one has added stuff. So the cat one is more of a beginner's video. If you're a beginner, I suggest you watch the other one. This one is more of an intermediate video. So in this game, we'll be learning these following concepts, such as broadcasting messages, using the random operator, touching sprites when key press, and the join function. So I'll be demoing the game first before we start. So let me make this full screen. So as you can see, there's music in the background. When you move around, the um, dinosaur switches costumes. When you press the space bar, he jumps. And as you can see, when he eats the kind of eats the um, pterodactyls, they they switch costume. So yeah. Without further ado, let's get a new project ready. So new. First, we can rename it to T Rexes and Pterodactyls. I think that's how you spell it. But we can change it later. Um so we would we want to delete this cat. Then we'll want to get backdrop. So let's get a background to this project. Background. We want the Jurassic background because it's kind of like a uh, dinosaur uh, themed game. So we can get the T Rex. Dino. Dinosaur 4. And we'll need the pterodactyl. Just type dino pterodactyl. And we'll need some trees. Tree. Tree. And just duplicate these. Right click, duplicate, right. We'll need three trees. Okay. First of all, let's go to the backdrop. So we'll need a one clicked. Forever, play sound jungle, we'll get a sound. I, I prefer to pick the jungle one. Jungle, I just search it. So this kind of sounds drastic. So before I can continue, I would like you guys to please like, share, subscribe to this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. So now let's continue. So we'll add code for the T-Rex first. Okay, so as you can see in, in the first video, we use like the um, key space key this press. This is less smooth than the if then statement and then you use the sensing key left arrow or right arrow press. This is more smoother. So you want the T-Rex to go to the front layer in the beginning. We can go to somewhere like right here. We want it to go to like um, zero center. Zero. I'm just going to put a random coordinate that might fit it. Zero, negative 50. See, that's pretty much in the center, so... Now we need a forever loop. Uh, if on edge bounce, so it can't go off the map. If then statement. If then the left arrow is pressed, take this. Left arrow is pressed. Then point direction of negative 90, because he has to turn left. He'll look to the left side. So negative 90, 
um, move 10 steps. So move, this is like the movement for it. And then switch costume to pick random one to three. We want this because it can switch costume when it's moving. We don't want it to switch costume next costume because we don't want it to switch to this costume because we don't want it to, when it's moving we don't want it to open its mouth randomly so we can just duplicate this code instead of left we can do right instead of point direction just put it to 90 move 10 steps and pick random to one to three yeah we don't want to do it to one to four put this under here so this is the movement of the dino dinosaur so next we'll need to do the jumping up so when the key space is pressed repeat 15 times so this will make it jump up and then get back down change y by 10 so it'll go up change y by 10 next costume so it'll open its mouth it'll change costume one to four and you jump up then we can just duplicate this 15 times and then you have to make it negative 10 because you want it to go back down and you want to switch to dinosaur for this costume because you want it to open its mouth when it's jumping so as you can see now we've got the movement done oh yeah and i forgot you have to do this direction you have to put it to this so it won't rotate upside down so now now the dinosaur can jump up and down and move left and right i know the music's kind of loud okay so next we'll move on to more code for the t-rex so we'll need to get it when clicked when flag clicked we need to make a variable called score so score, we want to set the score to zero in the beginning. Score to zero, forever loop. So in the forever loop, we want to put an if then statement. If then touching the dino three, which is the pterodactyl or whatever, dinosaur three, then broadcast, when you broadcast and wait a message called get, got, oops, got, I think this is how you spell it. So next, we move on to the pterodactyl code. So when it receives got pterodactyl, we can switch costume to the Dino 3D, which is the one that's screaming, I guess. And then we wait 0.5 seconds, give it a slight pause. 0.5, then we hide, because it's eaten. S switch costume to Dino 3E, which is this one. We want it to start on this one. So when clicked, we need to, when clicked, I'll make this bigger for you guys. When the flag is clicked, we want to switch costume to the Dino 3E. This one, hide. Okay, so we need a forever loop. So wait, pick random one to three seconds every single time it spawns. So pick random one to three seconds before spawning. One to three. Go to, it go to random position, but instead, We'll take a join, join function, and a pick random. So what this basically means is we need to add tree in here. Okay, tree pick random one to three. So you know we have three trees, right? So when you click on this, tree three, see? When, when you click on it, it'll, pick, it'll join the tree plus the number. So it'll actually go to the sprite tree one to three, either one of those, see? So we put just put this right here. So that's that code. And then we wanna change X. Change the X. 
change the x pick random negative 50 to 50 so it'll be somewhere from the end of the tree to the other end of the tree so pick random negative 50 to 50 okay we want to change y to 75 so it'll be somewhere up here instead of because if you uh say go to tree it would be in the center of the tree so we want it to be up here so change y by 75 change y by 75 okay so now you want to show show the pterodactyl wait two seconds and then hide okay now we just need to set up all the things we can put tree one right here tree two right here and tree three let's move it a little bit more like this okay and we also want to make the dinosaur go to the front so it'll go to the front layer go to front layer so now look, when you bite it the dinosaur disappears and oh yeah I forgot you can make the score change by one when you get the pteranodon so when you receive the message got pterodactyl you change the score by one yeah so now, as you can see, the score is changing up. You can position the trees in a different place if you want. And make it full screen. So yeah, that pretty much sums up the video. Thank you guys for watching, and don't re remember to smash the like button, subscribe to your channel. And comment down in the comments below on what you think about this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.